Gaffo, I appreciate Tuesday was a, was a different competition, um, but that second half performance must have really pleased you, and, and we're heading to Saturday on the back of that performance and, and a lot of confidence. Yeah, I was really happy with the mentality, really. Um, uh, the mentality and probably out of possession, uh, I was most pleased with. I think in these games, particularly as it got more dominant, um, you can certainly take your foot off the gas, and I thought we did the opposite. Um, I was really, uh, I thought that was led by the, the senior players, and then um, a massive positive as well the young players gave us in that game. So um, it's uh, it's making the squad a lot stronger, which is can only benefit us really. Great for Josh McGinnis, one of those senior players, uh, awarded the hat trick this week through the dubious goals panel. Good good thing for him. Yeah, I think uh, I think our media team can take some credit for that. So um, it is good because I think uh, he. Um, he deserved it. His performance was very good. His mentality was, uh, yeah, everything that. Uh, the reason why I chose Josh as, as captain was basically um, everything that you saw against Leicester. So um, he's really pushing now for a starting spot. As I said before, whether it's one nine or I find a solution with two nines, but um, it's good to have two strikers in good form. Did everyone come through that game on scale injury wise? Yeah, everyone's fine. Uh, yeah, everyone's okay. There's a little bit of illness, I think, with some of the players, but um, in terms of injuries, no. Steven Sessions now had just over a week. Is that right? Full training? Is he getting closer and closer? Yeah, so, um, yeah, Steven, it's been really good to have him. Um, he'll hopefully get some reserve minutes, uh, and we'll have to, because it's been a period of time, we'll have to build him up. So uh, I still think he'll be two or three weeks away from, uh, you'll see him from the first team. Um, but he's really starting to, to look good. So I'm uh, another really good player to add to the squad, so. More competition, the better. With that competition, do you enjoy a selection headache, so to speak? Or it's not never nice leaving players out, of course. But do you enjoy having so many options now? Um, I don't know if "enjoys" the word. I think um, the hardest part is leaving players out of the squad. That uh, and it's even harder now for this weekend because players have played well in a game. That's the hardest part of the job. Um, but in my opinion, I think it's vital for. Um, for us to have consistent results and continue to try and push the levels of our team. Uh, I think it was a brilliant pre-season for a lot of young players. And the reserve team are really now starting to kick on, which is good, but it's uh, we need a really strong uh, and competitive first team squad. And it's harder for me, but it's um, uh, that's irrelevant really. It, it's better for the team. So um, in my opinion, it's a must for a, a team that wants to achieve something. Bristol Rovers on Saturday, they, they had a, a good win against Shrewsbury away last weekend, played again in midweek. What have you analysed them, I'm presuming, this week? What, what are you expecting from them? Um, a really good footballing team. They'll certainly try and play through us. Uh, got a really good number six, uh, or in sixth position, Woods. Really, really good footballer. Um, and they've got threats in the attacking areas. Uh, yeah, uh, on the right side, going to be a big threat for them. So... Uh, yeah, they can hurt you in many ways. We have to be as good as we were against Cambridge out of possession. First two minutes of the game, we, we barely got out of our box and probably the same in the last three or four minutes. So we have to defend with the same inten uh, intensity sorry, and the same mentality not to concede. So um, And then we'll have to play. Um, I know we can play under big pressure. We'll have to do it again this weekend. But first off, we have to be very hard to, um, to break through. And, and then I think the talent we have will, will get its opportunity. And our away record so far this season has been, has been strong, hasn't it? Expecting again another good performance on Saturday. Um, yeah, the, the performance uh, away from home has been good. Um, yeah, I think uh, I just always want more. Um, Cambridge for me was a, a line in the sand of where we have to be out of possession. It was probably the first 30 minutes against Bolton was at a heat, uh, out of possession was at an even higher level. Um, we have to keep getting better. I think I said this earlier in the season. There's, with such a new group, the age of our group as well. I think I hope in the next three or four months you'll see a real progression in the team, both with the ball and without it. And um, there might be some moments where it's less so, but uh, I think over the course of the next three or four months, I really want to see a really strong team um, start to come together. Finally, uh, the fans. We talk about the fans a lot, but sold out pretty quickly this this away game. Um, it's not an easy trip going up to, to Bristol in a day. Are you looking forward to seeing the fans again on, on Saturday afternoon? Yeah, they've been, uh, the support has been, uh, it's been really good. Um, uh, even, even more impressive considering what we went through in the summer. 
But there's lots of things. So I, I was really impressed with the fans um, that turned up for the Leicester game. Um, I really pre- appreciate their support. I understand two of the stands were closed, but actually for people to come to that game uh, on a Tuesday night. So it was uh, I really appreciated that. Uh, our fans at home are really, really good. Uh, they're really understanding, or I feel like they're really understanding what we're trying to do. We got beat off Barnsley at home, and I said I would always clap whether we win or lose, and um, the reception I got after Barnsley after a defeat was exactly the same as what we had at the weekend. So um, yeah, I appreciate the support, and um, yeah, that's why we give everything to try and give them a weekend where they have a win.